Hi, this is Bruce Larkin, the owner of Will Books. Will Books gives your child an educational advantage. Hi everybody, this is Bruce the Jackalope Man Larkin, and I think you're going to enjoy this video. This video is a little bit of a reading practice session, but it's also a little bit of a contest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you little clues about an animal, and after I've given you anywhere from four to six clues, I'm going to reveal the animal. Hopefully you'll know the animal before you hear all the clues, but if you don't, you'll be learning some English and learning about animals. All right. Here we go. This first animal is a large animal. It is a predator. It is usually found in Africa. This animal usually lives and hunts in groups. The males oftentimes have a large mane. Did you guess lion? If you did, you're right. Good job. This next animal is found in the United States. It is a very large reptile. It is found in places with plenty of water, marshes and swamps, ponds. It is common in states such as Louisiana and Florida. It has big jaws with lots of sharp teeth. It also has a big, strong tail. Did you guess alligator? Nice job. I'm talking about alligators. This next animal has eight legs. It also has eight eyes. It is not an insect, but for some reason many people think that this animal is an insect. Sometimes this animal gets its food by catching other small animals in its web. Did you guess spider? You're right if you did. Spider. This next animal flies mostly at night. It's a predator. It hunts and eats other animals. It flies very quietly. It has large eyes. Did you think owl? Owl's the right answer. This next animal is the largest member of the deer family. It can have huge antlers. It has to live near water because it eats plants that grow in the water. It's found in cooler climates. I hope you said moose because moose is the right answer. This next animal is small. You could fit it in the palm of your hand. It belongs to a group of animals called rodents. Many animals prey on this animal. I don't know if I gave you enough clues, but here comes the answer, mouse. This is a very large animal. This is the largest land predator in the world. It lives by itself and it lives up in the farthest north part of the world in a region called the Arctic. It mostly eats ringed seals. Are you thinking polar bear? If you are, you're correct. This nest animal is very small compared to a polar bear. It can easily fit on the tip of your finger. It is a predator. It eats little insects called aphids. It's also an animal that a lot of people like. Most people don't know that it is a kind of a beetle. It is red and black. 
Did you say ladybug? Good job. Ladybug is the correct answer. This next animal is a very common animal. It can be found in the wild, but it is usually a pet. A lot of these animals are kept around because they like to hunt mice. But many of them in the United States are just kept for pets. This animal meows. And that should be all the clues that you need to say cat. This next animal kind of looks like a horse, but it lives in Africa. And it's different than a horse because all of these animals are black and white. They live in herds. I guess by now you figured out that I'm talking about a zebra. This next animal is found in many places, including the United States. They're also black and white. They're oftentimes out and about at nighttime. They're famous for the stink that they make. When they're afraid or feel threatened, they can spray you and it really stinks. Of course, I'm talking about the skunk. This next animal might be a little bit harder, but let's see what happens. This is an animal that is a predator, and it lives in Africa. It lives in groups that are run by a female. This is an animal that often has conflicts with lions. A group of these animals will sometimes chase a lion away and take a lion's food. They have very strong jaws. This one's tough, but it's a hyena. This animal can be found in Africa or Asia. It lives where it is warm. It is the largest land animal in the world. If you don't know by now, I'll tell you it also has big ears and a trunk. Of course, I'm talking about the elephant. This next animal can be found in many places all around the world. They can live where it's hot. They can live where it's cold. They get around by hopping. They have big ears. I guess by now you figured out I'm talking about a rabbit. This next animal is a predator. It lives up north. It usually lives and hunts in a group. That group is called a pack. I'm talking about Arctic wolves. This next animal finds its food at night. It often eats a lot of insects every night. It helps navigate by using sounds. It is also the only mammal that can fly. We're talking about bats. This next animal can only be found in the country of China. It lives in bamboo forest. Bamboo is its main food. It is always black and white. That's right, I'm talking about the panda. This next animal is found in the western part of the United States. It lives in herds. 
it eats grasses and plants. It is very fast. It is the second fastest land animal in the world. I'm talking about the pronghorn. This animal is a large herbivore, which means that it eats plants. It usually lives in herds. There were once many of them in the United States, but they almost went extinct. Did I give you enough clues to figure out that I'm talking about the bison? This next animal is a reptile. It can be found in hot, dry places in the United States, such as the Sonoran Desert in Arizona. It's kind of shy around people, and most importantly, it is the only venomous lizard in the United States. This one probably is going to be tough, but the answer is Gila Monster. That's right, the Gila Monster. This next animal is a bird. It has a very hard beak, and it needs that hard beak. It makes a good amount of noise, and a kind of an unusual noise when it's looking for food. And of course, I'm talking about the woodpecker. If you've ever heard one, it's like someone tapping a hammer on a tree, the woodpecker. This next animal is much smaller than the other animals we've talked about so far. It's an insect. People think of stinging when they think of this insect. But actually, many kinds of this insect do not sting at all. Here's a clue that's going to make it easy for you to guess. This animal is famous for making honey. People all over the world enjoy honey that is made by these insects. And of course, I'm talking about the bee. This next animal is a large mammal. It usually lives up in the mountains. The males have large curved horns. And that's where this animal gets its name. I'm talking about big horn sheep. Big horn sheep. The last animal we'll talk about during this video is a large mammal that eats plants. It makes its home in Africa. This next clue should probably help you a lot. It is the tallest animal in the world with a very long neck. If you guessed giraffe, you are correct. Giraffe. Well, I hope you had fun trying to guess the animals. I'll see you next time. It's Bruce the Jackalope Man Larkin. Thanks for watching this video today. We have a lot more videos, so go ahead and check them out. If you want to keep up to date on new videos, subscribe to our channel. If you want to read some free books online, go to the willbooks.com website. And if you'd like to enjoy a small bowl of bridge mix, have at it. See you later.